You know, in many places of rural America, they cannot find doctors because a lot of people from those areas, if they become doctors or nurses, they tend to go to the bigger city where the pay is much better. In rural areas, the pay for physicians is extremely poor. In many cases, if you have a job in the city, you're making more money than a physician is in rural America. So this came out in American Progress, and they are looking for immigration as a solution to their physician problem. So this came out July 29, 2019. Immigrant doctors can help lower physician shortages in rural America. In other words, doctors, they can easily underpay, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this is really talking about. Okay. Dr. Erjan is a kidney specialist from India who operates multiple dialysis units in Mississippi. Some of these units are located in rural areas as far as 50 miles away from his home in Jackson, Mississippi. While Dr. Arjan receives offers from big cities, he's chosen to serve a rural area since his ultimate goal was to practice in a place where his services were most needed. Mississippi has some of the highest rates of poverty and obesity in the country and thus has a high incidence of kidney disease among people of color. Once during Erjan's received, um, once Dr. Erjan received an opportunity to interact with patients and witnesses that need in the region, he decided to settle there. He feels deeply proud of his service he is providing and his patients, most of whom are African American, are equally grateful, but often tell him that they hope he never leaves the area, a concern that is all too real for rural residents who have long struggled to find stable accessible and quality health care, which is very true. You know, that's like the communities that both my parents came out of Georgia. They both came from rural America in Georgia, black rural America. Of the numerous issues facing rural communities from grocery store closures to school closures and consolidations, lack of adequate health care services perhaps most tangibly affects the lives of residents, notably the worsened shortage of physicians in rural communities has made it exceedingly difficult for residents to find care. As of January 2019, rural and partially rural Areas in the United States accounted for 66% of the total primary care health uh, professional provider shortages, where if non-rural areas had 34% of all de uh, destinations, a uh, geographic area is designated as an HPSA. If, among other issues, it has fewer providers relative to its population, it serves a higher percentage of people who live below 100% of the federal poverty level and takes a long time for residents to get to the nearest source of care. To remove these um, designation rural and partially rural areas would need 6,607 more primary care physicians. Rural residents also facing an increased number, an increasing number of hospital closures. Yeah, they are closing left and right in rural areas. It's a shame, but 
you know, if they don't live near a hospital, many of these people, especially the old ones, are screwed. As well as issues such as limited transportation, lack of health care coverage, or insufficient insurance coverage, and poor health literacy. Which I agree with all of that. The problem is... Most of the doctors that I've seen when I used to be in rural America when I was growing up, they tend to be a lot older and they tend to be close to retirement age. You know, it was a rarity to see a young physician in rural America. You just didn't see that. You know, most of the younger physicians, they want to be in the metropolitan type areas because those areas, number one, have more people and because they have more people, they pay more. Where rural communities, you have really a small population of people, so the pay is never going to be good. And they also have an issue with unpaid hospital bills. And that's another reason why many of those hospitals have closed. They don't have any sustainable revenue to keep the hospital open. Those folks want a hospital, but they're not paying. And, you know, you, you can't have the best of both worlds, not pay your hospital. And then on top of that, you want to keep the hospital open. It just doesn't work. So. All right. For example, in Webster County, Georgia, there are no doctors available. One pregnant woman, first trip to the doctor was for her delivery. Another resident and her son walked eight miles back from an appointment in Columbus before a motorist offered a ride. The other simply avoided visiting the doctor altogether. Unfortunately, these health care assets, um, challenges are likely to get worse in the coming decades because many rural communities have aging population whose health care needs and use of service will be different and greater than those of other age groups. For this reason, it is more important than ever to address this crisis slowly. Nationally, physicians who are foreign, trained, or international medical graduates, most of whom are non-U.S. citizens, make up one quarter of active physicians. In some specialties, such as geriatric medicine, yeah, you know what, they're right. They're absolutely right about that. Um, if they can get foreign doctors, I, I don't know if that, in my opinion, that's gonna not going to be the full answer for rural America. Um, you know, many of those communities are dying right along with the elderly. Young people are getting out of rural America, especially once they get to a working age. They leave because there's no work there. And the work that you can get there, it doesn't pay nothing. So my question is, is rural America just dying altogether? I think it is. I think it's going to be one of, one of the first places to go if America collapse. And we know it will. America can't go on like this for, you know, not forever is going to collapse. And I believe the number one communities that are going to go down the drain are um, the rural communities around America. I mean, this place is very, is very dysfunctional and it's getting worse. So all I can say is this is more living proof that America really don't care about its citizens at all. You know, they talk a good game, 
And this is why I don't like politicians. All right. So who's the Republican politician over this area? And why are they not helping these people? Because they don't care. They don't really care. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.